In this final episode, we take you to see the largest animal that has ever lived. Oh. My name is Bertie, and this is Timor Leste from below. So it's very early in the morning. Got my coffee at hand, kit sorted, cruise somewhere, but I don't care what time it is because this morning I'm off to see the largest animal that has ever lived. Growing up to 25 meters in length, with a tongue that weighs as much as an elephant and a heart the size of a car, this is the mighty blue whale. And here, in the waters between Atoro and Dili, these beautiful behemoths can be seen migrating through in numbers. So, what are the whales doing here, Captain? They're uh, migrating from as far as Papua New Guinea down to the Southern Ocean, just below Australia. We're incredibly lucky that when they come through, they basically hug the coast of Timor. And, and what sort of numbers are you seeing them in? Would you be able to put a figure on it? Hundreds? Dozens? How, how many whales do you think you're seeing every season? Uh, by the end of the season, we'd hope we might see around 70, 70 blue whales. So you mean you have all of these whales literally right outside the harbour, and there's almost no one else here? Where is everyone? <laughs> Yeah, good question. People haven't known what's here and now they do. And what you're doing is fantastic and will help educate both the locals and the national community that this is something fantastic to experience. So yeah, we're really excited you're here. Uh, I'm very excited we're here as well. Heading east along the coastline, we kept a keen eye on the horizon. Would we be in luck today? I've been waiting for 37 years for this moment. Still, I have never seen a blue whale. Now we've just got to find them. Then, we saw a spout. That's the first spout. That is incredible. Oh, wow. <laughs> we have to, have to remember that this is not just the largest animal in the ocean, or the largest animal alive today. This is the largest animal that has ever lived, period. And it's right here, just outside the capital. Wow, oh, look at that. And you can see Dilly Harbour right behind us. That is incredible. So these whales are such elusive animals and it's really, really difficult to get in the water of them. There's very few people on the planet who have managed to see a blue whale underwater and it's on every underwater filmmaker and photographer's bucket list to see one of these animals. And now we're here in Timor and we have a very rare opportunity to do this. Keeping on course with the migrating whale, we geared up, ready to enter the water. Right, right, right close to the shore. I've just seen the spout. Hopefully it's going to be in shallow water, because these whales can dive so deep, and they can easily, if we're out on the water, they can easily get beneath us. So we're just going to make sure that we've got everything ready, get in the water and see what we can find. Slipping into the blue, nerves began to set in. It, it's so unnerving. 
just hanging out here in the middle of the ocean. No other boats around, waiting for these gigantic animals that are probably over a hundred tons each to come hurtling towards your camera. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite unsettling, but it's great fun. Woo! Then, right in front of us, the whale dived. And we followed. But this time, it was too deep. so close you can just about make out a blue whale here if it had just taken one more breath we were right in front of it unfortunately it dived in front of us but the good news is that we know that they're here so now we've just got to just got to keep on trying and eventually we're going to get a shot of them i'm confident <laughs> this whale is steaming through keep catching a glimpse of it and then it goes down for between seven and ten minutes and then it pops up way further down the headland. Got to keep on going. Not easy. Staying alongside, we kept pace with the whale, trying to predict where it might surface next. Mango between whales. Very important to keep morale up. Looks like we're alongside now, so we've got enough speed. Thank I'll you. hope for the next one we can get in front. All right, so we're alongside it now, and hopefully the whale's got a little bit used to the boat. So as soon as it surfaces, remember it only takes three to five breaths. So we've got to be in there really quick. As soon as it's on the first breath, boom, in. Get it when it's at the surface. Moving into position, Kevin killed the engine. We waited for the whale to surface. There it was, the blue whale. The largest animal to have ever inhabited our earth, swimming beneath me. Oh my God, that was absolutely incredible. It just went straight past me and its body goes on and on and on. It's such a privilege to be able to be in the water with the largest animal that has ever lived. And it's right here in Timor. Right. Let's go find some more. In the short time I've spent exploring the waters of Timor-Leste, I've been blown away by the beauty, the diversity, and the sheer number of incredible encounters we've had. Incredible. The lady seems to be having an amazing time and they make it look so easy as well. This here is our playground and somewhere here are our dive sites. I saw a dugong! This truly is a place preserved in time. A marine realm like nowhere on earth. Timor-Leste. Explore the undiscovered.